should you get into lawn applications? Let's talk about it. worth with me <laughs> um, question is should you get into lawn applications and there's a couple ways for me to answer that question time for that disclaimer y'all used to it by now every business in every area is going to be different this is not going to be suitable advice for every single company out there but my two cents worth on if you should get into lawn applications has a lot to do with your knowledge on weeds, diseases, um, what type of applications you should apply, if you have a supplier for uh, fertilizer, seeds, uh, fungicides, you know, insecticides, if you decide to get into any of that. And if you don't have knowledge on any of that stuff, how willing are you to learn all these things and get the proper licensing um, and insurance for this? Uh, see, for me, it came natural because, uh, like I said in the aeration video, which I actually should have had this one come out before the aerations, because honestly, I think lawn application, if you're gonna do it, should come before aerations. Now, aeration is the one service you can honestly get away with doing without even being in the lawn application game. But when it comes to lawn application, it is definitely a certain type of knowledge you need to have, and you better be licensed to do it. Um, you better be insured to do it. Matter of fact, uh, for I know in the state of Virginia. Uh, first, you need a commercial applicator. So if you're the business owner, nine out of ten times, you're going to be the commercial applicator. Um, one of the former companies I worked at, I was the commercial applicator. i am be honest with you, I would not want to do it that way, where I hire a commercial applicator and say they go leave and work somewhere else. You no longer have a commercial applicator and your pesticide business license is no longer valid. So um, for uh, my company, I'm the commercial applicator. And for your pesticide business license, you need to show proof of insurance, proof that you're covered to uh, perform applications. And then uh, another major thing is, like I keep saying, knowledge. Man, you better make sure that you have the knowledge uh, because if somebody signed you up because they got red spots in their lawn and you're telling them, oh, well, you know, that, that that's okay. It, it'll it'll be okay. Uh, let me let me get the most expensive fungicide out here to cure it. When they're talking about red spots, they're talking about red thread nine out of ten times. Red thread and dollar spot um, usually are curable with a little bit more nitrogen. You know, you could use a fungicide, but a lot of times you can cure that with a fertilizer application. You know, saving the customer money instead of going out here and buying the most expensive fungicide. Uh, thinking that that would just cure everything because you're just not knowledgeable enough. Uh, you better know your weed identification. That's important. You better know how to make stuff grow. If you don't know how to do any of this, it's going to be hard to keep customers for the lawn care program. But basically, just like aeration, if you have areas that kind of require lawn care and your lawns to be up to date, I think the service is definitely for you. Just make sure you do your homework because things are always changing. And that's my uh, two cents worth. Peace.